I'm going to design the trees. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a rough line of trees in. And this is the area that I think I've already put a mark across there. That's the area I think I'm going to finish it. Now, normally I say to you, um, don't split the horizon. The problem we have here is we come too high, it's going to be silly. If we look too low, it's going to be silly. So we're going to make it. But really, I would really class this as in the two-third rule. You know, one, two, three. So this line of trees, which will actually figure back here as well, but then come down, and then it'll sort of drop down here. So we'll have a trees that are coming from here. It'll follow on from there. All of that will will be sky and this will be grass now we've got to first of all we've got to put the color in here now what I'm going to use is uh, 270 and I'm going to put this everywhere now like that <clears throat> and that's going to go it's not going to go all over it's going to go as far as here Oops, all right. and what we do we're doing something different up there I'm going to put the these trees will be distant therefore I'm going to put um almost certainly a white I think in there because I'm going to be thinking of that as being distant trees so I could have put grey in but I think I'm going to use white because I'm going to use white in the sky to start with although it, this is going to be kind of impressionistic it's going to be uh, we're not going to have too much detail in the trees um, we, we have to have some and it's the same with here. Here we'll have more detail at the bottom and that will recede as we get to the line here. So that's 270 all the way up here and into the tree area. I've also put some white in here too and then white everywhere else. Now the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to carry on with the 270 up here. Now the idea of putting white and 270 on is that I want to make this sky obviously a little bit of blue in it um, but I want to have a lot of grey as well and the 270 is the beginning of that I should be putting blue on and then I should be putting the grey on too that's the mid grey 273 start off tentatively now the blue is going to be quite severe against that brown grey donkey so you've got to be careful, we don't want too much. So I think just a little bit like that to start off with would be great. Put your toe in the water, really. And then we rub the, but watch when I rub that in, it's altogether different. I'll just rub one side of that and show you. See, really what it's a grey blue, but we're going to be adding 273 in here as well. So watch the difference. 273. And that will be rubbed in. Uh, now we're, we've got a really a greyish blue now. You see what I mean? Now, just to show you how well that works, it, just get rid of some of that. I'll, I'll just rub this blue in. And you can see the blue, a bit more obvious there than it is there. But that is absolutely perfect. So that's what I'm going to be doing, folks. I'm going to do, and what I'll do then is, oh, one, I'll put a little bit more blue at the top, like that. A little more grey on the top, like that, and I'll rub that in. So that will give me just a little bit more weight at the top of the picture. As I say, you probably can't see that very clearly, but it, it is just a little stronger. So that's what I'm going to do, all the way down. Now that will go down. When I come down to here, uh, let me just show you that, because it's quite important that um, I explain this to you. Now the trees are going to come in here somewhere. I think I've lost them now, because I, I drew them in in. But now when you come down here I would suggest that you probably just about touch it with the blue down there and let me just finish this off and then the grey remember on top of it and that can also go down here too and let's just rub that in just turn it around so it's easier for me because you've got such a great base under that this uh, colour is going to go in beautifully rubbed in beautifully 
Now you see, as I come down now, you see how it's weakening as it comes down? So that's probably around about the area where we'll start putting the, the tree in. Okay, let me carry on. Now there we are, we've got a lovely blue-grey sky now. So now well, let's put some trees in. Let's start from here. Oh, the colour I'm using is 172. And what we want to do is to make these, they don't want to be too definite. And I'll show you. It's a good idea to practice first, perhaps over here on this side. Now I want it to run down so that we can pick up somewhere around here. Well, maybe about there. Something like that. Okay, and then we come back to the other side. We don't want to make it a straight across, so we want to make it a pattern. That will be nicely. That will be nice. And then use your colour shaper. I probably would tend to use the ivory here and blend that in. Now do this as you go along. As I say, what we're looking for is distant trees. Now we don't want anything too too obvious. We, want make, we need to put a little bit of depth in that. Now what I'm going to use is 167. Uh, this is quite a strong colour, so you have to be, be tentative to start with. Maybe around the edge would be a good too. That would give us a little bit more definition. But we don't want it everywhere. And I also think it's nice to put some grey in as well. So this is the grey 273. It oh, makes it so compatible then with the donkey. And do I need a bit of ochre? I think I probably do. We really haven't used ochre in here, so I've got to be careful with it. This, this is the only ochre I use, so I think I might use that one, which was, um, I can find it. Um, here it is, 187. Would that be a bit strong? Yes, I think it will. Forget that. Oops, 182. We put that in the eye. I don't think we put it anywhere else here, but we put it in the eye, so maybe a little bit of that in there as well. Remember, this is a little test run to see whether it, it's going to work or not. Yeah, well, that's not bad. You see the slight variation. It's like out of focus. The trees are out of focus. Like you get on a photograph. I like that. I think that's rather nice and even this can be slightly out of focus as well ah, well let's carry on with that that looks good remember it's the donkey that's more important than the background the background is a support act you always got to remember that if you put too much detail in you're going to take away the donkey impact Anyway, you don't want to necessarily do, see me do it again. I'll just do this little bit again. Remember, we're going on top of blue, grey, white. So, it looks good. Um, what a, one, six, seven, wasn't it? One, six, seven, the grey, remember? Two, seven, three. And a little bit of ochre. Blend it. See what is important here is, and why I've done it there is I want to put white in here. And you see, we're going to put some white back over here, and you see how now I wouldn't do it at this stage, folks. I'm just showing you that the white will show up against it. Got it? That's the reason I've done it. Don't need to worry about this. So what we do, we've got a little bit here to worry about, but uh, I'll show you how to get over that when we get to it. But this is lovely. So I'm going to carry on with that down to there. I've nearly finished that, but do you notice what I've done around there? Let me just show you. I was going to make these a little bit more blended, but I've changed my mind because I like that. 
and I haven't done anything like it before, so another new technique for you. This is a little bit, that's the 172 I was using. Don't use the dark green one. Just some lead edge. Now, I've been using that one so far, but what I've decided to do here, and what worked really well, is I've used the pointed one. See? Let's show you. Get rid of the dust, otherwise you won't know where you are. And if this wasn't strong enough, you could just do it again. But I think that looks quite attractive. Yeah, great. If you find something like this that I don't like very much, you can always put a little bit of grey. I'd use the grey one here. Just to give yourself a little bit more design. I like that. Okay, I'll well, do it on the other side now. Let's see how it works over here. If you think, well, that's not a very sharp point, I have actually got a very sharp point on the end of that. shaper and that can be used to blend it. You could use the grey one too. I tend to use ivory if I want a soft blend, which I do here. Now, why didn't you use a soft pointed ivory for up here? I could have done. But that wobbles about a bit. It hasn't got even got the strength of this one. So I think it's better to use the grey one. You get a better effect. Now I think that's fine. That